Hi, I'm Lee Herbert from CapturingPassion.com and in this tip I'm going to show you how sub-rolls in the new-ish Final Cut Pro 10 really to work a lot more quickly and efficiently. So first of all, what is a sub-roll? So a sub-roll is basically like a subcategory of a clip. So let me just jump in and give you an example which will make it pretty easy to see what they are and how they work. So here I have an interview that I've shot interviewing two people at the same time and I had a lav on Paul and I had a lav on Santosh. Now both those lavs have come into my recorder and have come in on my clip as dialogue one and dialogue two and when you have a look at the actual final edited clip you can see here that you know there's all the cuts. The thing is you don't want to have both the labs switched on at the same time. You generally want to have a person's lab on when they're talking and then you want to turn their lab off when the other person's talking because otherwise you're going to get them rustling around, you're going to get them breathing, it's it's not a good thing. So let me show you how sub rolls can make that really easy. So if I come into my audio here and I click on the little disclosure triangle and then come down to say edit rolls within my audio I have an option to bring up sub roll so if I just click on that little plus and I'm going to call this one Paul Lav if I spell it right Paul Lav and then I'm going to come on to here and call this Santosh Lav and I might just change the color of the Santosh Lav so let's go ahead and change it to sort of a darker green make it stand out a bit more from from the um, from the other one and then click apply. Now I happen to know that dialogue one was Paul's lab so I go ahead and change that to Paul's lab and I know that dialogue two was Santosh's lab and now when we go back to our clip well wouldn't you know I can very easily see where I've used Paul's audio and I can see where I've used Santosh's audio and if I wanted to go even further and, and see this sort of in a more visual way what I can do is open up the index go over to my roles and say that I want to, to show me those roles broken out and that will very quickly and easily show me the audio and I can just select the existing audio and get rid of it, mute it, what have you and this is a much nicer visual way of seeing what's going on with your clips. Another way where this can be really useful is with subtitles. So here you can see I've edited a clip with a whole bunch of subtitles and I can just view those subtitles and if I wanted to I could just come over to the roles tab, click on the subtitles and they disappear and bring them back. So it's very easy to switch things on and off. Now one thing to be aware of is whether you switch things on and off in the index window here, they don't get switched on and off when you export them by default. So if I just switch these off, and then if I just exported this as say a standard Apple device clip, those subtitles would still be in the clip. So how do you export a clip without a particular role? I'm glad you asked. So how you do that is you come up to the export window, select master file, go over to settings, and where it says roles as, select multi-track QuickTime movie. And now that opens up your roles and you can just click on the ones that you don't want to export. One thing to be aware with this is that I found YouTube doesn't seem to understand the roles or doesn't see the roles in the file that this export option creates. So if you export this file and then send it to a client and they try and upload it to their YouTube account, there could be issues where some elements do appear and some elements don't appear. What I've found for YouTube is either use the export function that's built into Final Cut to upload it directly to YouTube from here, or you want to send it out as just an Apple Devices file or some other QuickTime file, and then all the elements will be in or not in there, as the case may be. But still, that's a very quick look at how sub roles can make it very easy for you to see what's going on in your clips and very easily edit just single subcategories of clips within your edit. For more tips and tricks, be sure to check out CapturingPassion.com and I'll uh, catch you next time.